Actually guys, got another video here for you. Another Windows repair on how to fix the .NET Framework 3.5 error 0x800F0950 in Windows 10, 8 and 7. We're going to take a look at how we can get around this and fix it uh, in this video. So we're on a Windows 10 system here. Now there is a script you can use uh, which will allow you to run this and it will then uh, pull the file off of the Windows installation uh, USB or CD that you have created and I'll show you how to do that in this video it's pretty straightforward and I'll leave the code for this in the video description so you can use this if you want to now there is other methods that you can use but all you need to do is copy and paste the text in in the actual uh, notepad here call it whatever you like and uh, we're gonna just name it here dot cmd and you can make sure it's on all files but I've already got one on my desktop so I'll just name this a uh, test or something like that just so you can see uh, but I've already created one so I'll just name this test or something like that and click save and it will now save it to the desktop and all you need to do is right click on this and run this as administrator now if you want to run this you will need to run it as administrator and have the Windows 10 media uh, plugged in i.e. DVD, a Windows 10 DVD or Windows 10 USB flash drive. You can see here we're getting no installation media found and that's because we don't have either of those uh, set up. So I'll show you how to quickly set up. Download the media creation tool uh, from Microsoft. It's free to download and this will then prepare your USB flash drive with Windows 10 or your DVD or CD uh, that you're using. So we're going to go ahead and download that and run it. So once we download our tool, we've got our USB flash drive plugged in, as you can see here. And what that's going to do is then copy all the files it needs across the USB flash drive. Now I'm using USB flash drives because they're a lot easier to use than uh, CDs and a lot more healthier uh, for the environment. So let's go ahead and create our media CD or USB flash drive here and uh, go next. We'll leave it on the recommended settings, that's fine. Just go next here and then it will create. Now you can see here it's given us the option of USB flash drive and we have it plugged in. Click next and it will then start to download the content from Microsoft server. And once it's downloaded that it will then start to create uh, the bootable USB flash drive with Windows 10 on it. So mine's all now completed and I can now show you here, put it on my USB flash drive here and I can run uh, that script if I wanted to but first let me just show you here go to control panel by typing control panel in uh, search and you can go to uninstall a program and then turn Windows features on or off there is a, a feature inside here which you can try if you're having issues which you can see at the top .NET framework 3.5 includes uh, .NET 2.0 and 3.0 enable that feature and then click OK and then reboot your system and hopefully that uh, issue would be fixed. Now another thing you can do is go to Microsoft and download the .NET Framework 3.5 and you can see this is the full package and you can download it from Microsoft itself and run that file and it will put all the files down that it needs to enable that feature. All you need to do is click on it once you've downloaded it and you can see here .NET 3.5.exe this will unpack and of course what happens is you will then get a prompt box popping up here to tell you to download and install this feature. This will then download it from Microsoft and try to install it. If this doesn't work for you, you can try the script method and if that doesn't work for you, you can try the uninstall uh, add a feature method. Also you can go to command prompt here, I'll quickly show you this method as well just in case and one of these will work for you. Go into your command prompt here. And what you want to do is type this command in, which is to do with DISM. And you can see here, it's going to allow to pull that file down and install it on your system. Now you can see here the letter is D and I'm going to change that. That is going to be the letter of my USB flash drive with Windows 10 on it. You will need to have Windows 10 and you can do it via this method. This method will 100% work. So you just need to make sure that you put that command in. I will leave all this information in the video description. As soon as you push enter with the correct uh, source and uh, letter 
uh, on there for your drive it will then pull that off that file and start to install it as you can see here that's now done and completed and we've managed to install .NET Work 3.5 onto our system. So if we take a quick look here by going back to search and typing control in here and uh, click on control panel, go back into uninstall a program and turn Windows features on or off. You will see now that that feature has now been installed onto our system. It's installed all of those for you. So either one of these should work for you. And this is a known bug at the moment with Windows 10. So I hope this one helps you out. I'm pretty sure that one of those methods will work for you. Anyway, my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, guys. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.